Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Tuplex. Um, I've added some more power uh, because at the end of the last episode I took a look and our power situation was getting close to maximum. Uh, we had two boilers and four steam engines. Uh, so I've multiplied that by three. And then I took a blueprint of each section of two and repeated it on down the line. Uh, so this shows what a full line of steam power is going to look like. One offshore pump will deliver enough water to run 20 boilers. So for every offshore pump we can have 20 boilers, 40 steam engines, and uh, that'll give us quite a lot of power. And then when we need more power after that, and we will, uh, we can basically flip this and run another line of boilers on the other side of this belt. At that point we'll have to upgrade the belt to red because one yellow belt is not enough to feed two rows of boilers. Um, but it can feed one whole row of boilers. Uh, and then we'll just continue to add power on down the line in that manner. So uh, right now we're, we're looking good. We've got we're generating 3.3 megawatts and we're only using about 25% of our capacity. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, I did set up a iron smelting line, similar, actually exactly the same as the one that we made for copper. Okay, and I ran an ore belt from over here. Uh, it was a pretty long run, but uh, we made it over there. So now we're making lots of iron, we're making lots of copper. I also set up a smaller one making stone brick. Uh, again, same design, uh, it's just that we feed it stone instead of ore, and that'll make stone brick for us. Uh, in this case, I put, I only put eight furnaces on a side, uh, just because we, we don't need a whole lot of stone brick. Uh, we do need some for science production. Uh, we'll need it to make furnaces later in the game. Uh, but I also want to use the stone brick to put some walking paths that will make it easier for us to move around the base. Um, I added some more drills on the coal that's feeding the smelting area since we're using more coal now. Um, and that's where things stand. So <clears throat> at this point I think we're ready to pick all of this up because now that we're making uh, and actually, let me share something with you. When you pick stuff up, get all the inserters first. Otherwise, they'll just start placing stuff on the ground. All right. So I'm going to pick up all of this and clean that up. Because uh, now that we have a large smelting area, we're going to start to move our production up there. So we're not going to be using that anymore. Um, and science will be temporarily paused while we do that. We can also start picking all this stuff up. Um, but while we're getting into that, uh, one thing I would like to do, let's just get all the iron plate out of there. I want to get rid of that ore. Um, I would like to start making some steel so that we can make a steel pickaxe. Uh, right now we're using an iron axe. Uh, once we have five steel plates, once we have five steel plates, we can make a steel pickaxe. And uh, believe it or not, that allows you to pick things up more quickly. Uh, as well as chop down trees faster. Okay, there we go. So now we got a steel axe. We'll put that down there. So you can see that that lets you pick things up more quickly. All right, so we can get rid of all of this stuff that we started with because we're gonna be mining with electric drills now. Um, 
over here, I do have a chest full of stone. Uh, so let's... I'm going to start turning that into stone furnaces. So we'll just let that run. Uh, we're gonna get it. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We don't need that. Because we're not gonna do a ton of stone furnaces. Um, we're gonna wait until we upgrade to steel furnaces. All right. All right, so we'll pick all that up. And then, um, like I said, I wanna use this stone brick to lay out some walking paths. Uh, that'll help us move around the base more easily and it's also a good way to kind of um, Oh, I'm full It's also a good way to kind of delimit the different parts of your base. Let me get rid of some of this coal All right, and then we can I'm just uh, control left clicking on these furnaces All right, so I'll pick up the stone brick uh, the default size looks like two by two. Um, if you hit your plus sign, you can increase that. What we want is four by four. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is between copper and stone, I'm just gonna left click and start running. And as you can see, when you're on the stone, you run faster. Um, and then we wanna set things up so that we don't have anything on the path so that we have that clear to walk on all right i'm also going to run down the belt and pick this up uh, if you hold the f key then you will pick up whatever is on the ground all right and uh when you start placing paths like this you do go through quite a lot of stone brick so all right and then Let's see if we leave a space of, let's imagine that we have another belt, one, two. All right, so let's put our north-south path right there. Here, in between copper and iron. Okay. And then, like I said, uh, we want to keep the path clear, so we'll use underground belts uh, wherever they cross. I'm going to get rid of this ore. I'm just control left clicking, put that in the furnaces. Um, now when we need more iron, obviously we can just come up here and grab what we need. Okay, let's put an underground belt there. And another underground belt here. There we go. Um, and then we can also run the path south from here. I'll just go as far as there. Um, that'll help us uh, run down to the power area when we need to. Okay, and then uh, might as well use up the rest of this brick that I've got on me. Continue to run up here, and then there'll be another one in between iron and steel. Okay, we'll finish that up later. All right. <clears throat> so now we've got iron, we've got copper, we've got stone. Uh, we'll set up steel shortly. 
so the next thing that we're going to do is set up our main bus. Uh, now, if you've played before, you're probably familiar with this design, but the main bus is basically a way to lay out your base uh, to help distribute the materials that you need to build things. Um, and basically what it is, is it is a row of belts uh, going down the center of the base that uh, contains all the ingredients that you use to construct things. So the main ingredients that we're going to have on our bus are iron plates, copper plates, green circuits, red circuits, blue circuits, plastic, stone brick, steel, and engines. I know that sounds like a lot. Um, and then we will build to the side of the bus, to the north and the south side of the bus. The bus will run west to east. All right, so uh, we can start laying that out now. Uh, and that's why I put copper, iron. Uh, I did put steel up there, but I want iron to be first and then copper. Um, so I think what we'll do is... Where should we put the bus? We've got a copper patch that I want to avoid. So I think we'll, let's consider this to be where this path is. This will be kind of the main, the main path down the middle of the base. Um, you know, and again, we've got copper and iron patches here that I might want to make use of, but I, yeah, to be honest, I, I think we're just going to build over those. Um, you know, we've got plenty of resources around that we can tap into. Uh, we'll build over those patches. I'm not going to worry about trying to build around them uh, just because that'll be kind of a hassle. All right, so this path between copper and iron is going to be the main path down the center of our base. So let's grab some more brick and we'll lay that out and then we'll start to lay out the, the design of the bus and get things fed onto it. Sheer luck. Um, looks like we've got enough space to uh, to just miss the top of this lake. Now, um, with the current version of Factorio 15, uh, landfill is now a part of the game. In previous versions, uh, there was a mod for landfill that would allow you to uh, to fill in water if it was getting in your way. Uh, that's now part of the base game, uh, which is great. Okay, so let's lay out our bus. So I'm gonna leave uh, a space of two. And the iron, we're gonna need four belts. So there's four belts of iron. I'm gonna leave a space of two, and then I'm gonna have four belts of copper. Now the reason I leave a space of two is so that when you're running material up and down, um, let me make an underground belt. Um, you'll have enough room to jump over the bus with yellow underground belts, right? So that's why we always do the bus in fours with a space of two. All right, so that's going to be iron. That's going to be copper. Um, we're going to need two belts of green circuits. Uh, one belt with red circuits, one belt with blue circuits, space of two, and then uh, we'll have one belt of steel. Um, one of plastic, one of stone brick. Uh, I think we might want stone as well. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm gonna put engines. All right, so that'll be our main materials, and then I have a few extra belts for whatever. Um, and then I'm also going to leave space for fluids. Actually, let's not do that. I'll just make some regular pipes. 
All right, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave some room to run some pipe down here as well, and then we've got plenty of space left over for miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so uh, what we do now is we just start putting this stuff onto the bus. All right, so this ends right there. So I'm gonna bring this down, I'm gonna go underground, and then that'll come over here onto the bottommost belt, like this. Okay. And then copper will be pretty much, oh, you know what? I need to leave, I need to leave more space here uh, because we are gonna need to bring the copper in as well. So if we take a blueprint of this copper line, right, the last of the copper lines is gonna be right there. So we need to make sure that we leave room for that. So this copper line is gonna come over here. Okay. Um, and then the line below that will come up there. And then we have the third line and the fourth line. All right, so this will be the fourth copper line. There we go. All right, so this one will bring out, let's bring that out another few spaces. And that can come down here. Yeah, and that'll give us enough room for all of these things. All right, let me make some more belts. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now one thing that we wanna do here is Let's make some more undergrounds and more splitters. Um, we're going to be putting in some belt balancers. Like I said, we're gonna have four belts of each of these. Um, and we're gonna have four smelting lines feed them. And we want, we want those four lines coming in to be balanced so that the output belts all have a equal quantity of plates, even if the inputs are not even. All right, let me um, let me go ahead and lay out the rest of this. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to get all this lined up. All right. So we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a four belt balancer which is made like this. So basically you put down two splitters going into one splitter, you leave two spaces, another splitter, two spaces, and then two more splitters. Uh, you'll, you'll get the hang of this. These two go underground like that. And then these two on the outside go like this. Okay, and that is a four belt splitter. Now, let me make more belts. Now when I hook this up, you'll see that all of these belts, well, it's hard to see now because it's so packed, but you'll see that all these four belts on the outside get an even quantity of material. Okay. And then we'll do the same for copper, so again, two into one, two spaces, two spaces, and then two more. Underground belt, underground belt. Like that. And that's how you make a four lane balancer. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, this is going to be green, red, and blue circuits. We're going to have steel 
We're going to have plastic. Uh, I think we said that this one would be stone brick. I'm going to keep crafting belts like crazy while I'm doing this. Um, so let's go ahead and get stone brick up there. jump over our path. There we go. And we don't really we don't really need stone brick on the bus right at this moment, but uh, it'll be good to have it there. Um Yeah, so that's what the bus is gonna look like. Okay. Um so, before we get too much further, uh, I do want to... I do want to start automating belts. And let's do this even better. Let's make... Um, let's make some blue assembly machines, because they're faster. So, to make belts, we need gears and iron plates. Um, now that we have a bus, we are going to be using belts like crazy, which is why I, this is a very temporary setup just to, just to get us going. All right. And then I'll, let's see, I'll hook this up to power over here. Okay. Let me put a light down so we can see what's going on. Okay. Right, so the belt is uh, one plate and one gear to give us two belts. So actually, let's have two on the output side. Um, I do want to limit these chests. I'm going to limit these to two stacks each. All right. Um, I have two inserters here just because we take two plates to make one gear. So by having two in and one out, uh, it's able to keep this machine running at full speed. And then here we just need one plate, so that's why I only have one inserter putting plates in. And then each cycle makes two times transport belt, which is why I have two belts on the output. Okay, so now we're making belts really fast, and we can use that to extend our bus. So I'm just going to go ahead and extend this out a bit. And then uh, we're going to start making stuff. So we'll extend the copper as well. Now, eventually, this is all going to be upgraded to red belt. Uh, so the, the base is designed for, you know, four iron and four copper with red belts. Uh, for now, we're using yellow, and that'll get us going for a while. But as soon as we get to the point where we can build lots of red belts, uh, we're going to start doing that. Okay, so the next thing that I want to get going are green circuits, because we use those for nearly everything that we make. Um, so I'm making a few more blue assembly machines, and uh, that's going to be the first thing we put in our main production area. Um, and we can start that uh, right about here. So let's look at the recipe. Green circuits take three copper cables and one iron plate every half a second. Copper cables are made two at a time. So one copper plate makes two copper cables. And that takes a half a second. All right, so if I need if I need three every half a second to make my machine run full speed, um, but I only make two every half a second of the copper cables, then that means that I need one and a half copper cable machines to keep my circuit machining running at full speed. Now, it's hard to have one and a half machines, but if we multiply that by two, that means that we can use three copper wire machines for every two circuit machines. And that's how we're gonna set this up. Um, 
first of all though, I want to, before I start building, I want to leave a space. I want to leave eight spaces for myself above the path before I start building anything. Why eight? Uh, well, that's just so I have room to uh, run belts and put in power poles and anything else I may have forgotten after I build something. So eight is just the number that I use. That's kind of my design standard, if you will. It works for me. Um, and we have plenty of space, so I'm not worried about uh, using too much space. Um, obviously, you're you're free to, to do it however you like, but that's just how I do it. Um, I have done it before where I only leave a space of two or a space of four, and I've always found myself wanting more space, so now I just I use a space of eight. All right, so these are going to make copper wire. Now, once I assign a recipe to one machine, if I shift right click on that machine, at that point I can shift and then left click on the other machines and it will copy the recipe. It makes things much easier. So we're gonna leave one space and then these are going to make electronic circuits. Shift right click, shift left click. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna put a belt to bring up copper plate, right? And these use one plate every half second. One, one item per half second is easily achieved with a single blue inserter, like that. But uh, since two are gonna come out every half a second, for that, we need two inserters. So we're gonna do it like that. So you can see that each one of these machines has two inserters coming out, right? So we've got three going into this machine every half a second and three going into this machine every half a second. Now, later on in the game, there is an upgrade uh, stack size increase that, uh, and we're gonna get that as soon as we can. That will allow a regular inserter to move two items at once. Um, once we get that, then we can get by with something like that. But for now, we do need the extra inserters. Okay, and this is going to be copper here. So, um, let's see, and I've already built myself into a, into a hole. Let's move this. I've got quite a lot of belts now. Uh, we'll, we'll get that set up again soon. Okay, so here we're going to need to bring in a belt of copper. And we can actually get away with using a dedicated belt for this. So if we wanted to, we could do that. Um, And I think I will do that. But let's do it in a different way. Um, I, I don't want to split off of the bus for circuits because you use so much copper. And actually, two and a half of these four belts are going to be used just to make green circuits. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put underground belts like that and that's just going to go straight up there like so and then what we can do um, once these belts are gone after the circuit area we can use those slots to run green circuits okay now the other ingredient we need here are iron plates. All right, so let's run a belt for iron plates. Now in this case, I am just going to split off of the bus to get the iron plates. Um, 
So we'll just do something like this, right? That would be a way to get low volumes of iron plates. But in this case, uh, we're gonna be using a lot of iron plates. So I wanna do something a little more aggressive. And I'll show you how you can split off of a bus and get high volumes. And that is by doing something like this. So the way this works, um, as you can see, uh, these two center belts are jumping over the splitters. The two outer belts are being split in half and then combined. So we have half of this belt, half of this belt. It's being combined in the center, and that way we get a full belt's throughput going up here. Okay, and then at the end, uh, we can put a couple more splitters if we wish, and that will uh, that will help rebalance things on the other side. Um, right. So uh, we'll put blue inserters there. So that's putting the iron plate in. Now we need the copper plate to come out, and for that. I'm going to unload onto the sides. And I'm gonna use some underground belt there. Oops. All right, so we're gonna Put the circuits out to the side, and then those are going to combine here like this. Now I know this looks like I know this looks like uh, a lot. Uh, you might have seen simpler builds, um, but I'm building this way because this is going to give us a lot of throughput on these green circuits. Eventually, we are going to need to have. 10 setups like this. Okay, so we'll have, or no, I'm sorry, we're gonna need 15 like this. Uh, we're eventually gonna need 30 machines making green circuits. Um, so this way we've got plenty of throughput on the inputs and outputs. All right, so I'm gonna use an underground belt for the iron, okay? Now uh, we just need to power this up. So it looks like we can put, let's see if we put a pole there, a pole there, one there, and one there. That will cover everything, and then we can put a light right there in the middle. Okay, so let's power this up. I'm gonna use this spot right above our path to run our power lines. Okay. All right, so now we can see that we're making green circuits. And then we're basically going to duplicate this same setup on the other side as well. All right, so over here, we're gonna have another line of iron. And I'm not sure if I left myself enough room to do the same type of splitter there. Uh, let's, let's see if we're gonna be able to do that. Yeah, I think we can actually. to be that needs to be right there 
Yeah, I think we're going to have... I think we've got just enough room to do it. Let's make a few more undergrounds. All right, so that'll need to dive under like we did before. We'll make another underground there. Okay. Oh, and then connect that. All right, make a few more underground belts. And uh, we're gonna automate all these underground belts and things pretty soon. Um, actually, can we make this? Yeah, just for the sake of symmetry. Let's move this down one more. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna mirror this here on the other side. So, just bring this over, one, two, three. And then again, shift right click, shift left click, shift right click, shift left click to copy our recipes. We're gonna have a line of copper coming up here. And in this case, we are going to be using this bottom one. And actually we're gonna need two and a half belts of copper to feed this. Uh, we've got two now. Uh, at some point we'll, we will need to split one of these other two belts uh, and run that up. And we'll, we'll run that up on the other side here. Okay, so we'll leave ourselves a, a reminder there, um, but we don't need that right now. We are gonna need it in a little while. All right, so again, uh, blue inserters, blue inserters, more blue inserters on the outside, and then we have a light I'm just going to mirror the power pole setup here. And then we put one there. And we put one there. Okay, and then we'll run these power poles the same way. There. Oh. Not quite done. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we're making green circuits. And we're going to run these down. Make a few more undergrounds. to go one more. All right, and we said that this is where our green circuits were gonna go on these two. And we can bring that down here. And then, like I said, at this point, we could jump up to take the place of these other two copper belts. Um, but I think I'll just, I'll just leave it like this. Okay, so we'll just extend our bus a little bit more. At this point, we've only got two more belts of copper, but um, after green circuits get made, two belts of copper is enough to feed the rest of the base. Okay, so that's it. That'll do it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we will start to set up our science area again. Uh, and then we'll also start to set up um, a make everything facility where we will automatically build 
belts and inserters and all the other things that we need for the rest of the base. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.